It's really I might nice. be asking too much, so if you don't want to answer, I just don't put say it in it. the nether regions, but just up top. No, but do you like? Do you wear it for like <laughs> sexy time or no? I know we're probably not meant to show these pictures. However, I need you to see this version because these beans are on lettuce. lettuce. That's a hard no, pass for me. That doesn't happen, does it? Why would you need green on your damn plate? I love a full English, and you can get beans like online shipped in the UK, in mm. the US. Um, so I still have my beans. Do you? Oh, yeah, like a couple of times a week. Aww. A little treat on the weekend. Oh, um, fuck. Like, I know that sh uh, she was saying that it was some kind of statement about not eating meat or whatever. <laughs> it was just a really weird contrived... She would have been honking by the end of the night. Yo, could you imagine just being sat next to that? Uh, I wonder if there's a moment when you're that committed to your art that you just think, uh, if I step out of, like, the concept here, aka if I think about not being pretentious for one sec, <laughs> I'm literally, like, <laughs> covering myself in meat, which is going to heat up pretty rapidly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if she, at any point in that night, was like, God, this is ridiculous, or whether she was so focused on the I wonder if message. at any point there was, like, pastrami or something on there, she went, oh, oh, a bit snack, a bit of that. Beef tartare. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if she got hungry at any point, or anybody else did and can I have a piece of that? Yeah, oh, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> it looks expensive. <laughs> That's our oh, new shirt! I thought we both looked really cute in that. You did look cute, yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah, I liked your outfit a lot. Thanks. I like it a lot. Even though I did think, wait, is that underwear? Would you wear it to bed? Would you wear that brassiere to bed? It was a, it was a knitted... Would you wear knitted underwear? Um, I, I own knitted underwear, but it's super impractical. Yeah. But, um, but it looks... It, would, uh, it this, looks really I might nice. be asking too much. So if you don't want to answer, I just don't put say it in it. the nether regions, but just up top. No, but do you like? Do you wear it for like <laughs> sexy time or no? No. Okay. But then wondered. I don't think I put anything on on purpose for sexy time. Okay, great. Do you oh, think? Good to know. Do people do that? I wear nicer underwear. Do you? Oh, I should really. Be I should be kind to my husband. And wow. Just, and what does it look like? Just like. Just more presentable. Yeah. Not like. Just like Fresh out of the box, fresh. Not just oh, I've had those for a few weeks. And bit had... of a grey elastic. <laughs> <laughs> I only wear black or navy. Uh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I am obsessed. We love. We love. Do but you have a favourite? I never asked you. Well, that. when I was younger, my favourite was Jerry. I loved ginger spice. Oh yeah, I loved ginger spice. But they, I'm of an age where I think I was um, like. Patient zero for the Spice Girls. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> like I loved them. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I was exact. I was eleven, and I yeah. was exactly how old you should be when yeah, the yeah, first yeah. came me out. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too, me too. And I just couldn't believe it. How my family didn't know I was gay is beyond me. Oh my god! I, I was eleven and trying to be Park Spice. Yeah. And I couldn't understand why I was getting picked on at school. <laughs> <laughs> Love. I love her so much. Love. Yeah. I think it's incredible. Um, I also like, aside from her music, that off duty she wears the weirdest shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah me too. Old. I like that a lot. I like it. It's weird. Yeah, You're me like, too. Wow. Love, favourite place on earth. The other day I had dinner with a friend and mm -hmm. I said, Are you two girlfriends? And I said, Are you going are you going to Glastonbury this year? And she went, I don't know. And I looked at my other friend who's also a devout fan and she mm -hmm. said, Wow. Imagine not knowing. <laughs> imagine, not, imagine not knowing if you're going to make it to Glastonbury. <laughs> and in fact, this yes. is probably giving too much of a game away, but uh, I spoke to the producers of, this, of our show, Next in Fashion, you should watch it, it's on Netflix. And uh, I was like, if we did a season two, for example, would we even film it this year? And they were like, we don't know yet. And I and said, like, we if we do, do we right. can't do it in June. And wow. they were like, why? And I was like, because of Glastonbury. <laughs> um, so. I, I know you're obsessed with it. I know that you love it very, very much. I've never been to a music festival. Um, I think that one's a good place to start. Wow, that seems like an intense place to start. Exactly, but of all the festivals, it's the one with the best spirit. It's not like commercial. Okay. They don't have advertising, etc. Everyone's in a good mood. No one cares, I, apart from like the press, but no one really cares what you're wearing. Like people yeah, just yeah. walk around. Okay, something controversial. Have yeah. you been to Coachella? If so, do yeah. you prefer Glasgow to? Oh my God, I've done. A, I've, I think I'm banned from Coachella for slagging it off at this <laughs> point. But I went to Coachella multiple years in a row mm -hmm. and loved it. I had the best time. But you know what's popular now, music-wise, isn't reflective of my taste. So as soon as it turned more dancey or just mm -hmm. whatever's going mm -hmm. on now, mm -hmm. it's just less my scene. Okay. But it's a great festival. I did enjoy it at the time. But not as good as Glastonbury. No, Glastonbury's way better. All right. There yeah. you have it, folks. 
You were in her video. I was in her video. Um, and we were very honoured to be in her video. That I think that vid video really is iconic. Like it, it had people in that video who truly are um, trying to do all they can to make sure that, that the conversation is changed. That. She, she was known, this was not what she was going for, but she was known as uh, the person who was there for all those kids who, um, were, well, every kid, but in particular those Republicans who felt like she was one of theirs. And that still may be the case, but it was nice to show that she also has very liberal views and she's very open-minded when it comes to uh, the LGBTQ community. And so I think that that was quite shocking for a lot of people, for her to very openly support our community. Um, and I was really proud of her for that. Because that could lose a lot of her audience.